What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of Attack once again. And today we're going to be talking about the Ethereum dev call that happened this morning, at least this morning, my time, and the discussion that they had revolving around the timing for the implementation of EIP 1559. Yes, it's coming. It's coming in July. And then we're going to go ahead and give a brief overview of what that means for you as a miner and what you should be thinking about as this approaches closer and closer, seeing that now it is March. And so we have about three months left. Let's get into it after the word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the 199 option will get you access. And after that, you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section, there will be a secret registration URL for rocket chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers, or bots. Alrighty, so first of all, I wanted to state that there were some other things discussed on the call. EIP 2315 has being removed or voted to be removed. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to Hudson Jameson for great moderation. He kept it in a manner that I was able to easily digest so I can relay the information to you all. The video or the live stream that they did is on their YouTube channel, which will be linked down in the description if you wanna watch the whole thing. And let's talk about EIP 1559. In case you guys haven't been up to date with 1559, you can check out my video that covers exactly what it does and how it works, including the modifications to, of course, how fees function, including the base fee and what the burn is. But all you really need to know is that they are going to be burning a portion of the fees and fees are what are paid out to miners as compensation for solving a block. That is also in addition to the typical block reward, which is at two Ethereum right now. And that Ethereum is basically generating new ETH into the system. This is being done so that they can essentially have a more stable or predictable fee structure not necessarily a lower fee structure, as well as it will cause it to be deflationary, meaning that there is a possibility of more ETH being burned than of course ETH being added to the network, which by their own description should drive the price of Ethereum up, or at least that would be the expectation. How much, I don't know. We'll just have to find out as we get closer and this is actually implemented. So. In July, basically, there will be a hard fork for London. And during that hard fork to basically prevent the Ice Age, they will be rolling in EIP 1559 along with it. Another thing that was voted on that they are going to be rolling into, of course, the blockchain is going to be a difficulty bomb. This difficulty bomb is being implemented to basically leverage miners to not mine on the incorrect chain. Yes, you heard me right. They stated that specifically. It is to basically force people uh, to the best of their ability to mine on the proper chain. This is because if they introduce the difficulty bomb and the chain forks, if the chain forks, that forked portion of the chain would need to have the difficulty bomb diffused or it will basically go dead. So at this point, all you need to know is it does appear as a home miner unless you are able to do this sort of thing, right? Defuse a difficulty bomb. You're, you're stuck with either mining Ethereum on the proper chain or going to a brand new coin. Let's talk about profitability. According to the devs in a call with Bitsby Trippin a couple weeks ago, it was clarified that their projections for mining profitability would drop 20 to 30% as opposed to Bitsby Trippin's calculation, which states that it would be around 30 to 40%. So expect a profitability drop of mining Ethereum, at least the amount of Ethereum that you are mining to drop between 30 and 40%, that does not take into account the price. It is possible that the price of Ethereum goes up 30 to 40% to compensate for that. Uh, but if it doesn't, then of course you will be mining at a 30 to 40% loss. At the end of the day, you will be mining 
less Ethereum if I understand correctly. So what can you do as a miner that's at home, not a mining pool to help prepare yourself? Well, at this time I would suggest if you're basing your ROI off of Ethereum to not buy GPUs that are not going to pay themselves off within 90 days because we don't know exactly yet the full impact of EIP 1559 on the network. When the change goes through, you will want to ensure that you are mining the proper chain that you are wanting to mine, whether that be the forked chain or of course the new chain, keeping in mind that the forked chain will need to have that difficulty bomb diffused. And that's pretty much about it. If you are having basically any sort of income below a, a different coin or a different algorithm, then you want to switch your miners over to that new algorithm. At the end of the day, we are miners, we're mining for compensation. And if the compensation being paid out by a different entity is greater then that is the entity you should mine. If of course we have this go through and the profitability is still better than any other coin, then I would encourage you to still mine Ethereum. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to make any political statements because for me, that's what it's about. And I'm here to guide you guys on making decisions on what you should do with your mining farm without basically coming out with some sort of like, oh, they're so evil or anything, right? Now I was kind of curious about the refunds. Like I said, we can talk about that in a different video because the refunds uh, from my understanding enable some nefarious things that we have discussed in yesterday's video. So if you're interested, let me know. I will go ahead and show you guys all of the sources for this video. We basically have a tweet from Tim here. We are in agreement about one about 1559 and a difficulty bomb pushback going into London. And then here is the official EIP 1559 GitHub page. We also have the project management repository. This is basically the agenda for the dev meeting. And then this was a, another EIP they were discussing, or well, it's the diff bomb, right? So if you guys need all this, it'll be in the description below. And then finally, we got to talk about the pools. So a lot of people, have the argument currently that of course a majority of the pools are against EIP 1559 and they are presuming that they may split off. Now while that could be true I wanted to point out one thing here and that is that F2 pool which supports 1559 has gone up significantly in hash rate taking the third place on the Ethereum network with 43.85 terahash, which is 11.1% of the network. So if you think the pools are gonna solve this for us or something, and you think there's gonna be a big coup, I, would, uh, I wouldn't plan on that, okay? There's definitely enough hash rate here, and there's definitely enough presumed hash rate coming out from some of the new miners. As you can see, the most popular miner on F2 pool is the Lindsay Phoenix, which is 2,600 mega hash a second at 3,000 watts. If there are enough of these in production, it may not really matter what happens with 1559 for GPU miners because they will pretty much take over the network. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I saw that not very many of you have the notifications turned on, so make sure you turn those on for the latest in cryptocurrency news and cryptocurrency mining news and guides and how to's. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.